What's going on, Trucker? This is your boy, Trucker Duma, and today I'm gonna show you um, how do I back in a truck when I go to a customer. And uh, it's a short video, it's not long. As you can see right now, I'm walking um, to the back of the container. I'm about to break the seal. Because this place, they always ask us to break the seal when we, before we um, even go to the uh, receiving office. Because I'm used to that place. So. So now I'm not gonna open the door yet. I'm going to set up myself to just to back it up. As you can see, this place is pretty um it's a it's wide open, but um I decided to do a demonstration. Uh the way you can do it easy. Um the way you can do it in an easy way, I mean. So I can just I can like make a U-turn and you know, position myself in back into back to the dock, but you no, know, I'm trying to do a little, you know, some, some, some me, you know. Now, as you can see, I'm back in, and uh, I'm trying to put the the box to the um. Uh, we're going to 48, um, I believe. So what's going on here? This place, they do not have no lines on the on the ground. You, there's no line to follow. So you gotta be, um, you gotta play with your eyes, and um. So you're looking where the box is going to make sure that you go to the to the, to the number where you want to be on docking. So look, you see this? When you see, let me pause it real quick. When you see the um, the tractor start um, shaking like this, that means you turn the steering wheel too hard. This doesn't matter if it's left or right. And all the weight, the weight on the box come and sitting on the on the track. That means the truck to become heavy and the steering is turned too hard. And now, you know, there's no, you, you know, you're back in, you do put a lot of pressure on the gas pedal. That means it's not a lot of um, torque it's to, to back it up. That's why it starts shaking. When you see that happen, it's time for you to pull forward a little bit and, um, you know, try to not to turn the steering wheel too hard and back up again if you have space available. Let's watch like um, a couple of seconds more. You're gonna see the tractor start shaking. See this? It starts shaking. Like, yo, you know, it's time for me to pull forward now and straight my wheel. You know, do a little some song. That's why I pull forward. Okay. And I'm trying not to turn the steering wheel too hard this time, so I don't I, so I don't put all the weight on it again. You see now it's back in slow. It doesn't shake anymore. You see, so slow, slow, nice and slow. This is the thing uh, about driving a day cab. It gives you so much like you have you. you I don't know how to explain that, but when you drive a day cab, you feel so comfortable when you're back in because you have the connection straight between you and the box that's sitting right behind you. As you can see, you know, it's going, it's going. I'm gonna have to pull forward again because I don't like to dock um, my, my, my box so without the tractor and trailer uh, and the box like straight. That's why I'm gonna have to pull forward again. So I make sure that I got the, the tractor and the trailer um, straight. There we go, there we go, yeah. I, I gotta be honest. There's nobody there. It's a weekend, and uh, I used to be a company driver at that time when I f um, shoot that video. I used to work for JB Hunt, and um, that's why I take my time. You know, I play around. It was a Sunday, yeah. Otherwise, if it was like busy or weekday, I would like you know smack it like this. There we go. There we go. Now I got my tractor and trailer straight. Um, what I'm about to do now, I'm gonna go open the door because um, this I, I don't like having the door open and doing all this manual. Sometimes we get stuff that's stuck inside of the um, the trailer that I mean, you know, sometimes they mm, it can be a big trouble. I see that happen a lot to um, drivers, um, a customer, so that's why I take my time before I even open the door. Let's go. See now, I open my door. There we go. I'm gonna lock it. There's a small, like, short chain, like, we, I, I, you know, I just lock it with the chain. Everything is clear, clean, no debris, no thing, everything's good. All right, let's go back inside of the cab and back it up. So, don't forget if you um, actually 
want to talk to me you can always send me an email at abc8384 at yahoo.com so we can talk have a little chat about the only operator local position here in Atlanta and don't forget my name is Drucker Dumas let's go so now doors open everything is good you see I don't slide the tandems here because at this place you don't you don't have to that place it's like you know uh, it's a new place they, they know all two things you know you know to start tandem blah 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 so much so as you can see now it's going nice and slow nice and slow this one thing about me when I'm back in I like to sit I don't need I don't like this gap between the um the, the box uh, and the dark I, I want it to be like flat you know flat that's why I take my time you see and the truck is nice and slow nice and slow right in there <laughs> there you go nice and slow and it's in there now uh, what I'm about to do now I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and um, like I told you in this safe way I feel me my pers personally I I get this thing done I like to see my feet on the ground first that's why you said the landing gear I'm gonna release it like I like to see my feet in the ground before I even disconnect it um the uh, service line so let's let, 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 let's go let's go let's go let's go man yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, landing gear. Okay, my feet are on the ground. It's clean. Uh, we went with the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel is the last thing to touch. Now I got the service lines out. I go back inside of the car. This truck was to 20, um, 2019 or 2020. I don't remember, but it's a it's a new one. It's a P4. So um, you see this now? Now I'm going to see the fifth wheel. And I'm put Oh, no, 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 no. Let, me, let me let me let me get this this is all i do it all the time first of all i like to see my feet on the ground first i will hit um the landing gear and after that i disconnect the service lines like electric lines airlines and stuff and i go back in front of the cab i release the fifth wheel now after i release the fifth wheel i put the truck in gear Gear put it forward because it's an um, automatic truck, and um, I release the brake, the tractor brake, not the trailer brake. The trailer brake have to stay out, and I push in the, um, the tractor brake. And now I'm gonna let the hair go in the um, the oh, oh my god, let me see if I can get a couple seconds. Let's go back a couple seconds of that video okay okay first of all my foot on the ground you know landing gear nice and clean release the airlines yeah airlines release the electric line disconnected okay now i go back inside of the cab and uh, now what i'm about to do now mm -hmm, as you can see this is what Okay, now this button right here, if you use the new truck, like new for Atlantic Cascadia, I think start 2018, 19, you don't have to go outside to release the fifth wheel. You know, now I'm releasing the fifth wheel. I'm waiting for it. It's a couple, take a couple of seconds before you heard it, uh, unlock it. And after that, you see? Mm, let me see. Um... There we go, the fifth wheel has been released. And now I'm gonna put the the tractor to drive. So I wanna I wanna make sure that I do absolutely anything in a safe way. Can you see this? And then now I'm about to release the tractor brake. And released it. And now I'm gonna release the air. You see? I'm lowering it.